Hey YouTubers, this is Boy to Wonder with another video of the LG Optimus M. M standing for Metro PCS. Today I'm going to review an application called Photo Bucket, right down here on your right of your screen. Uh, Photo Bucket, of course, is on the website. So go to www.photobucket.com, make you an account, and save your pictures on there. Um, you can share your pictures, save it as um, save it on there for. Um, so you won't lose your pictures off your phone or anywhere else. Um, instead of saving on your computer, you can save it on there, and then you can access them anywhere else in the world by going to that website and logging in with your account. But anyway, we're going to review the application itself. So let's go to it right here. Let me kind of zoom in if you can see the um, icon itself. Um, this, this application, of course, is absolutely free. I didn't pay for it. Um, as you all know, in my first video about the handset, I will not pay for applications. Maybe one if it's really good, but no. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and click Photo Bucket. There you go. Photo Bucket Mobile is loading, 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 loading. There you go. All right, so it's loaded up now. And here are all the options. You got my albums. You can upload from your gallery inside of your phone, the settings. I'm going to show you one of the settings here. Um, upload options. Now, every time you take a picture with your phone, um, you can set up a folder in photo bucket on the website and every time you take a picture or a video it automatically uploads to photo bucket. So you think you lose your phone, you lost your phone and then the next day you're like, oh all my pictures are gone. No they are not. They will be automatically download downloaded to photo bucket. Now one of the downsides downsides about it that sometimes I'm gonna go back up to uh I'm gonna go back and show you. Let's see, upload. If you can see here it says failed tap to retry. Because Metro PCS is on a slow network, um, it may take some time for it to actually load up. Some pictures may take about even a second to load up, or some pictures may take um, longer, depending on the size of it. Um, another thing is, if you're on Wi-Fi, it automatically does this quick. So, I mean, if you're in a big area like Disney World, and Disney World has a hot spot in the area, you're taking pictures, put your Wi-Fi on, automatically uploads to your, um, to your photo bucket, so there's no worry about what's going on with your pictures. So um, this is a good way to actually save pictures on the website. And um, you can also go on the website and download your pictures straight to your computer. But um, but yeah, this is a, this is a great um, application. Like I said, again, it's free, uh, free of charge. Go to the Android market, um, type in Photo Bucket as a search, and it should pop up, and there you go. So I'm logged in in one of my accounts here. and. Um, yeah, so this is this is photo bucket. This is the photo bucket app. You can also search for other um, pictures you want. You can download them, put them as backgrounds on your on your um, on your phone. Um, uh, I mean, frankly, in my opinion, I don't really go to photo bucket to get um, wallpapers. But I mean, if you're into like a photo, if you're a photo bucket fan, like something like this right here that says "send me a comment," you can send that to people, download it, and send it to people, or send them send it as a uh, you know as a contact. Uh, a caller ID context. I mean, I mean, hey, that's just what it is. You can see new photography. If you're a photography fan, hopefully it loads up. I'm not on Wi-Fi right now because something's wrong with my Wi-Fi going with my phone. I'm not sure why. But um, this is the photography. Hopefully it pops up. No, it's not popping up. Uh, whatever. But um, one of the downsides about it with the free version is that on the bottom of it, it actually has ads. I'm not sure if you can actually see it down here. Oh, there you go. It came up. See so your photography. And um, that's that's about it. If you like, if you're like, you like to look at photography, new photography coming out. You can go in here and check out who the, the latest photos that people look for. Um, and then the downside it is, it just has ads to it. But I mean, the ads are not even in the way. So I really think this is a um, a good uh, application to go to. Uh, but um, like I'm like I said before, free, not in the charge. Uh, but, but you will be paying if you want to have an enormous amount of storage. Um, that's, I mean, that's just what it is for the photo bucket online. But photo bucket gets so much memory to the point where you don't even have to think about paying anyway. So I mean, it's just enormous. I have photos in there since 2007, and uh, I mean, that's something right there. And I have, I think a lot of photos. And I save all them photos uh, from my Motorola Razor from Metro, and they're all on that um, website. You can set it up to the privacy, private everything, so that's no problem to it. But um, hey, that is my um, review of for the Photo Bucket app. Uh, please leave a comment below what you think about the app. Tell me if you're going to get it or not get it. Tell me some other apps that you believe 
are worth getting for free. So that any every any YouTube user who has an Android phone or who has this phone uh, could go ahead and download it. And uh, guys, thank you for watching, and y'all have a great day. Peace.